Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the videos useful, please subscribe to the channel. So in this video, we'll solve this problem based on the concepts of vector addition. So as for the problem, PQRS is a quadrilateral where A, B, C and D are the midpoints of S, P, P, Q, Q, R and R, S respectively. Prove using vector methods that ABCD is a parallelogram. So the first step here is to draw a quadrilateral PQRS. So this can be our quadrilateral PQRS. So we can label the corners. And we are given that A is the midpoint of side SP. B is the midpoint of side PQ. C is the midpoint of side QR. And D is the midpoint of side RS. And we have to prove that ABCD is a parallelogram. So we can join these points. Now we have to use vector methods to prove that ABCD is a parallelogram. Now in a parallelogram, opposite sides have the same length and are parallel to each other. So in order to prove that ABCD is a parallelogram, we have to prove that vector AD is equal to vector BC and we have to prove that vector AB is equal to vector DC. So if we prove this, then we can conclude that ABCD is a parallelogram. So let's start with we start with proving that vector AD is equal to vector BC. So for this, we'll analyze vectors AD and BC. So let's start with vector AD. Now vector AD starts at point A and ends at point D. So now an alternate way or going from A to D is to go from A to S and then from S to D. So we can break up vector AD as vector AS plus vector ST. Now we are given that point A is the midpoint of side SP. So that means vector PA is equal to vector AS and AS is half of vector PS. So vector AS is half of vector PS. because A is the midpoint of side SP. Now for ST, so D is the midpoint of side SR. So therefore, vector SD is equal to half of vector SR. So there's a very important concept we need to understand to do this problem. Now we can 
factor out half from both terms Now PS plus SR is equal to PR because if we are going from point P to S and then we are going from, from point S to point R, we are actually going from point P to R. So this is the expression we get for vector AD. And let's see if we are able to get the same expression for vector BC. Now vector BC starts at point B and ends at point C. <clears throat> so an alternate way to go from B to C is to go from B to Q and then from Q to C. Now vector BQ is half of vector PQ because point B is the midpoint of side PQ. Similarly, vector QC is half of vector QR. Now we can factor out half from both terms. Now vector PQ plus vector QR is equal to vector PR. So the Q's they cancel each other out. So therefore, vector AD is equal to vector BC because they both equal half of vector PR. Now we can work on proving that vector AB is equal to vector DC. So let's start with vector AB. So vector AB starts at point A and ends at point B. So an alternate way to go from A to B is to go from A to P and then from P to B. Now vector AP is half of vector SP. Because point A is the midpoint of side SP. Similarly, vector PB is half of vector PQ because B is the midpoint of side PQ. Now we can factor out 1 over 2 from both terms. Now SP plus PQ is equal to vector SQ. Because if we go from S to P, and then we go from P to Q. So basically we are going from S to Q. Now we have to check the expression we get for vector DC. So vector DC starts at point D and ends at point C. 
So the alternate way to go from D to C is to go from D to R. And then from R to C. Now vector dr is half of vector sr because d is the midpoint of side sr. And rc vector is half of vector rq. Because c is the midpoint of side rq. Now we can factor out 1 over 2 from both terms. Now SR plus RQ vectors are equal to vector SQ. Because if we go from point S to point R and then from R to Q. So basically we are going from point S to point Q. So the R's kind of like cancel, get cancelled up. So we get the same expression for vector AB and DC. Therefore, vector AB is equal to vector DC. So we have proved that uh, vectors that represent opposite sides of the shape A, B, C, D are equal to each other. So that proves that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. So these are the steps you have to keep in mind to solve a problem like this one. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to Homework Help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.